Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to build a live USB drive that will run Ubuntu 16. Um, there are a few tools that you'll need and I'll show you which ones you need to download. The nice thing about this tutorial is that it'll allow you to use persistent data, which means that when you reboot your machine or if you take the thumb drive and put it into another machine, all of the settings that you have saved, your desktop backgrounds and any software that you have installed will also come with you. There are a bunch of tutorials out there on how to make a live CD or a live USB thumb drive, but do they not, but they don't keep um, the data. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to ubuntu.com slash downloads and download the version of Ubuntu that you want. Uh, first, we're going to download Ubuntu desktop. I mean, that's the the whole reason for this is we're going to be able to bring this USB thumb drive with us. Um, so we'll click on download Ubuntu. There are two versions on the Ubuntu website right now. There is the LTS version, which means the long term support. And there is the most up to date version, which is 1704. I would choose the long term support version. Um, when Ubuntu releases the LTS versions, they give you, I think it's about five years of security updates and software updates, um, meaning that if some bug or some hack comes out, um, you're going to get the security updates to fix that. Most likely you'll get them in the most recent versions too, um, but they are guaranteed to support this version for five years. So what we're going to do is click on download and it brings up this page. Ubuntu is a free um, OS and you can donate money if you'd like and if you do not want to you can just click no take me to the download uh, which I've already done as you can see on the desktop. Uh, one thing you're going to need to do is make sure that your USB thumb drive is uh, FAT32. So you can't do this through Windows if your thumb drive is over 32 gigs. So you're going to need to download a program called Rufus. The link will be in the description, uh, but this is what the download page looks like. And this will allow you to format your USB thumb drive to uh, FAT32. You can also use this to make a bootable USB drive if you do not want persistent data, but this software does not allow you to make your USB drive have the persistent data, the data that'll be saved across reboots. For that, you're gonna need, um, I think it's called unetbootin or unetbootin. Um, the link for this will also be in the description, but this is what the unetbootin or unetbootin software looks like. Um, if you're on Windows, click the Windows download, and I've already done that too. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your USB drive is FAT32. And you can do that by running Rufus and installing it. Um, you can choose if you want to do NTFS or UDF or EXT FAT. You can do it through Rufus, but the point of this is to make sure you have FAT32 because that's what you're going to need to boot. Um, if you were going to create a USB thumb drive that did not have persistent data, you would just click your ISO uh, from here and this will make the USB drive for you, but we're not going to do that. So we'll unclick make a bootable drive and we will click start. This is just warning you, make sure you're using the right USB drive. We're deleting all your data. So after that is done, we can click close and then we can o open up the UNET button and we can install this. So this program will actually allow you to download different versions or install different versions of or distributions of Linux. Um, they're all listed right here. And then you can actually choose the version that you want to download. We're not going to do that in this case. We're going to click disk image since we already downloaded it. We're going to change it to ISO. And we're going to choose the little three dots there to pick our ISO version, which is this one, is the one that we downloaded. Your version number could be a little different, of course, but we will click open. And down here, uh, this only works for Ubuntu right now. Um, this is your persistent data. So essentially this is the your hard drive size that you're gonna be able to write to 
uh, when you're making this thumb drive. So for me, I'm just gonna make it 1024, which is a gigabyte. I'm not gonna need much more than that. Um, if you do decide eventually that you need more than a gigabyte, you're probably gonna want to do a full install of Linux or, or Ubuntu or bring around a portable USB or a portable drive with you that you can mount. Um, so we're doing a USB drive. The drive is the F drive and we're going to click OK. Now this will take about two and a half to five minutes depending on your machine. I haven't seen it take longer than five minutes. Um, so I'm just gonna speed this up so this goes quicker. All right, now that is done, we can click exit and we can boot from the USB drive. So restart your computer. So while your computer is booting up, you're gonna wanna hit, in my case, it's F2. In yours, it could be escape, F2, F8, delete to bring up your BIOS menu so you can actually boot from the USB drive. So this is the BIOS for my computer. I click the boot menu and I click the USB flash drive. So just click on that. And this will bring up the UNet booting interface and you're gonna wanna go to try Ubuntu without installing. I mean, of course, if you want to install Ubuntu, you can, but um, for this tutorial, we're gonna do without installing. And here we go. Now we have the Ubuntu 16 desktop. Um, this comes up and shows you the keyboard shortcuts. On the desktop, it says install Ubuntu. If you decide you eventually want to switch to Ubuntu, you can. Um, but as I will show you, your drive is listed right here. So 1.1 gigabyte volume is the one that you can write to. And then this is just the hard drive in the host machine that I'm running this on. So if we open up Firefox, you'll see it's just Ubuntu. We can go to youtube.com. We can go to you know, CNN oh, on the wrong keys. So it's just a regular working desktop of Ubuntu. You can open up your terminal. And right now, um, let's see, we can install, we'll do nginx-v, which shows that we don't have nginx installed. So we will do sudo apt-get install nginx, click yes. And I'm doing this just to show you that you can install software and as it when you reboot the machine, the software stays. So we have Nginx installed now. There you go, version 1.10. And let's see, we can close this. We will change the desktop background to, this looks fine. And we will make a new folder, test folder on the desktop. And that should be it for now. We will restart. And as you can see, my desktop stayed the same or stayed what I changed it. I have my test folder. There's nothing in there, but the test folder is there. And if I go to terminal and I run nginx-v, 
it'll show that Nginx is installed. And that should be it. So now you can bring this thumb drive with you, um, any computer that boots off USB, and you now have a full working operating system that is customized to yourself. Um, so if you are going to, say, a computer lab or... I guess really a computer lab, or if you're going to your friend's house or you're going anywhere where you want to bring your operating system with you and your files with you, you can bring this thumb drive and it'll come with you. If you have any issues, please leave a comment down below and I will try to answer them as best as I can. If you have any other questions or comments, please let me know and hopefully I will see you at the next one. Thanks.